Hello friends, good morning. In my last class, I had started with the second unit of subject high voltage engineering. The unit is over voltages in power system. In my first lecture, I had explained what is over voltage and lightning mechanism. Today, I will explain the types of lightning strokes or classification of lightning strokes. Now here we are considering all these lightning strokes from power system point of view. From power system point of view means the lightning discharges are on the power system equipment or transmission line or transmission line tower or on the transmission line conductors because they are exposed to the atmosphere. So whenever I say the earth, the discharge is on the earth or near to the earth, it means it is near to the power system component or power system equipment. In the first category, we are having direct strokes. Direct strokes means which are directly on the earth object. They are classified into two categories, type A and type B. Now let us see what is type A stroke. So in type A stroke, there is cloud. It can be positive, it can have positive charge, or it can have negative charge. Now, as per the theory of lightning mechanism, which I had discussed yesterday, when positive charges accumulate in the cloud, the charges of opposite polarity accumulate on the ground, on the earth, below this cloud. So here it is positive charge, so here it will be negative charge. Lightning mechanism will be same, and when sufficient charges are there, a channel will be established, that is pilot leader or pilot channel, and when it approaches the ground, opposite direction channel is established, and finally there is discharge of this cloud on the ground or on the topmost object on this ground which can be transmission line or transmission line tower. So this is simple mechanism but it involves, uh, it requires long time because charges should accumulate then pilot leader should start, it will approach the ground so this requires some time and this type of discharge is always on the topmost object below this cloud on the earth. That is called as type A stroke. Next it is type B stroke. This type B strokes involve three clouds, say X, Y, and Z. Here X and Z are having same charge. Let us say positive charge. Y cloud has opposite charge, say negative charge. So below this on the earth there will be positive charges. Below these clouds on the earth there will be negative charges. Now potential of this cloud Y will be held up due to presence of positive charges Y, sorry, X and Z. So at some point, at some time or at some point, suppose this cloud discharges with this cloud. The charges will be neutralized. So suddenly the potential of this cloud Z will be released. And when suddenly this potential of this cloud is released, this discharges on the ground, on the earth. And this type of discharge is very quick and it is irrespective of the topmost object below this cloud on the earth because there is sudden release of charge, dv by dt is very high. So it is sudden and it is irrespective of the topmost object below this cloud on the earth. That is type B stroke. Second type is indirect stroke, also called as side stroke. So indirect or side stroke can be direct type or it can be, it can be direct type of type A or type B. But it is not on the power system equipment or transmission line tower or transmission line. But it is near to the transmission line, near to the transmission line tower. Now here this cloud discharges there is transmission line. In between these two, the medium is air. So this is acting like transformer. The equivalent circuit I have drawn here. It is lightning discharge. So current is flowing through this. This is secondary. That is transmission line is acting as secondary of the transformer. In between these two, it is air. So it is acting as air core transformer. 
So when this type of discharge is there near to the transmission line tower, then suddenly a voltage of very high magnitude is induced in the transmission line because it is acting as secondary of the transformer. And voltage wave of very high magnitude, that is called as transmit traveling wave, is established in the transmission line. I will explain in detail this traveling waves and how this damages the power system insulation afterwards. So this is the effect of it is not directly on the line or tower, therefore it is called as indirect or side stroke. That is second type. Third is called as release of bound charges. So let us see how it happens. Here I have shown the transmission line towers 1, 2, 3, 4 and these are transmission line conductors. Transmission line, the transmission line towers. This is the Suppose cloud is there, it is having positive charge. So as per the theory, when positive charges accumulate in the cloud, on the earth, below this cloud, on the topmost object, negative charges will be established. So below this cloud, there is transmission line. So negative charges will be established on this transmission line conductor. Now, if this cloud discharges here, then it is direct stroke. If this discharge is near to the transmission line, it is indirect or side stroke. And there is possibility that this cloud discharges to another cloud. It is neither discharging on the transmission line or near to it. It, is, it discharges to the another cloud. In that case, these negative charges, which were held up due to the presence of this positively charged cloud, will be suddenly released. And when these charges are released, they establish the traveling waves of high magnitude in both the directions. If charges, total charges are Q, then charges will flow in both the directions with magnitude Q by 2. And they will establish traveling waves in the transmission line. So these are three basic classifications of the cloud. Lightning discharge, direct stroke, indirect stroke, and release of bound charges. The lightning discharge is also classified in another way depending on the current magnitude and time for which discharge is there. That I will explain now. Next classification is according to the magnitude of lightning discharge current and time for which this current, this discharge current flows. First classification is at hot strokes. This is characterized by low magnitude of discharge current. Now please remember, here low magnitude does not mean it is in milliampere, microampere or ampere. It is in kiloamperes, but relatively less current. But this current flows for long time. And characteristic is it causes fire when it strikes the object. Relatively less current flows for long time and causes fire, cold stroke. Here, discharge current magnitude is very high, but it flows for relatively short time, and it causes explosion of the object at the object when it strikes. So more current, less time, and causes explosion. That is how the dis lightning discharges are classified as per magnitude of the current, discharge current, and the time. Now, if you find this video useful to you, then please like it, subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos on power system protection and voltage engineering. Ask your friends, colleagues and juniors to subscribe to this channel. If you want to manage your time efficiently and effectively, then read my book on time management. The link is given in the description box. I have launched a course on Udemy. The title of the course is Boost Your Learning and Become Top Achiever. This course is very useful for the students in general and specifically for the students who are appearing for the competitive exam as well as entrance exam. Thank you.